So in six words or less, tell me the dumbest thing you've gotten caught for. I got cut, drunk enough, in my mother's house. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Raging hormones, peer pressure, a crush. These are all factors that make us do dumbass decisions while we're teens, but they do make the best stories. So I'm gonna ask people to tell me the dumbest thing they've gotten caught for in six words or less. Tell me your secrets. So no one wants to share? Not even one little secret? No. Okay. No? Okay. He spoke in grunts. He's like, oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I'm just not getting any luck here. I'm not getting any people. Do you have one? Dumbest thing I've been caught for? Is yeah, like... let me sit with you. Hold on. In six words or less, tell me the dumbest thing you've gotten caught for. Going to the movies with boys. Got caught by the police. Smoking. Smoking in a national park. Got caught smashing windows. No gas in a stolen car. Got caught fucking in my car. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> when I was living with my mom, I was like, I was like 13, 14 years old. Yeah. And I found, <laughs> on the Habe, I found these VHS videos, right? Yeah. So I'm like, I have no clue. And one of them was orange. Okay. So it was like that color. So <laughs> I put on the VCR and it was, you know, triple X movie. My friends were smoking and a cop car pulled up. We wanted to get the principal because we really hated this dude. We got some weed. We were like, let's just go to the clubhouse. Let's just roll because we can't roll at my house. We can't roll at anyone's house. We got to the parking lot. And he threw a rock at, at the, at the um, windshield and I hit it with the bat. And come to find out later on that it was the secretary, this nice little old white lady. And then oh. I was like, oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah, fucked up. The cops are outside. We like try to clean up as much as we can. I started experimenting, oh, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, For the first I mean. time. Hey. <laughs> and thinking that my mother wasn't home. But then I realized my mom caught on because it was like every time the car came back with more gas than when she parked it, she was like, that doesn't make sense. They tell everyone to get into the living room yeah. they, and they're like, you guys need to call your parents. No. Right? And the whole time I was playing the video and everything, she was in the bathroom. And did she hear and see? She heard everything. And what did she say? What did she uh, do? Oh, oh, she called me in the living room with my chugging the chicken. <laughs> did you want to talk about her? I have a boring life. You have a what? A boring life. A boring? Yeah, I mean, we could like go and do some drugs right now if you no, want. No. no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And I saw that shadow coming in the corner and she was like, Go to the center! Go to the center! Go to the center! Go to you were driving without an ID, you were smoking weed with the lights off, and they gave you a slap on the wrist? That's some white print right there, baby! <laughs> and But she was cool, and she's like, oh, boys will be boys, you know, so it was like... Uh, I don't rock no more, it's 2019, okay? Did your parents look at you differently after that? She told me that I was gonna go to hell. She was like, you wanna go to hell? You and your hands, gonna go to hell. <laughs> you and your hands? Yeah, you and your hands. Yo. Okay, but, you know, I got the belt, you know? They was like, yo, get that, bang, bang. Yeah, bra. Bra. What did you learn from the situation? Definitely don't lie to your mom. It's better to tell the truth. <laughs> don't go too far with a stolen car if okay. you plan on bringing it back. Have a better disguise. Just do it on your private time. Yeah. Close the door. Close the door. And make sure nobody's home. Exactly. <laughs> Ping pong, okay? Uh, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are we doing? Cool. <laughs> so basically, everyone does dumb shit when they're a teen. It's a rite of passage. We're young, we're dumb. But if there is a lesson to be learned, learn that shit.